Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another Fairy Leap video. So I've got my Fairy Leap here, it did arrive a few days ago. As you guys can tell I've changed the background again. I just wanted to have on my wall not in a box and out where I can see it and I'm working through it and I'm just really happy and excited. I've just set up this desk now and tidying the room. Oh, and it's getting there. But very late video. Okay, so. Ba -ba -ba. When I get through this little tape. You guys, be first. Look. If I can open it. There we go. A lovely view. What? <laughs> okay, so we've got another basket. Another basket. Okay, let's look at the basket. It's black and white. We like these, well, I like these colours anyway. <gasps> oh my god. You guys, okay, so. <clears throat> First of all, you know I love these little organisational baskets because they are key for me, they are very necessary. This one, I hold dear to my heart already. So this says, Ad Astra Per Aspera. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, what's the same side? Roman canvas basket. Now I know this is Roman, but you see these little like square bits, the square design? You see that all the way through like Greek culture, probably because we got taken over by the Romans, we got taken over by so many people. But this, honestly, just looking at this, reminds me of Athens, it reminds me of Cyprus, you guys know I went to Cyprus, so you know I'm half Cypriot. This feels a little bit like it's a reminder of home, because I'm not going to lie to you. Even though I was born and raised in the UK, I take off from the Greek side a lot in my family, and when I went to Cyprus I turned very dark, because my Greek genes kicked in, and I on it honestly felt like home. I actually contemplated moving there. <laughs> and But it was just things like my family, my friends are here, so we stayed. But we were we were ready. We were ready to move to Cyprus. Like it is it is my home. It is. And I'm I I love it so much. And this honestly just reminds me of it. So this is good this makes me happy. I love this. Moving on. This is this is a coaster? <gasps> this is a oh my god, okay, so this is the pattern on the outside, but it's thick and it's like a postcard, but it's card and it's like it's like a coaster, but it's it's like from Olympus 2, so we're definitely going for a Greek vibe, which I love this! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! I think this reminds me of the goddess of war, like, of battle. Like, that's what it reminds me of. Whoop. Okay, I'm gonna pop it in everything in here, because as you can see I've tidied and I don't want to put things out. And I also think this is quite a lot of colour. If I put things down it, for you to see the background, it might just get a bit hectic. So I'm going to keep it and then I'll show you guys, obviously. To do it. Oh, hello. There is a, bit. <gasps> a Valkyrie helmet pin. Okay, so we're going for a lot of mythical stuff, aren't we? We've got Roman, Greek, like Olymp <gasps> Olympus. Now we're going like Viking for Valkyrie. Oh my god! It is a Valkyrie helmet pin. Look at how sick that is. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. This is so goddamn gorgeous. The cheek card on the top. Oh, we've got another canvas bag. We got another canvas bag. And it looks like books. Lore Olympus, the Song of Achilles, the Odyssey, a Cirque. Oh, the histories, Percy Jackson. Sorry. The Iliad, the Iliad, the, the Star Touched Queen, Lore. Uh, Plateau Republic, Never Look Back, Poetics, Ariadne, Ariadne, I'm too excited. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god, I am loving this so much. <gasps> I always love these canvas bags because I take my crochet stuff in them. I take to charity shops when I get stuff and I love the ones with the books on them. I absolutely love this. Okay, this is such a good day. I've tidied, I've organised, my desk is a happy place again, and I get sick stuff from Fairy Leaf. Oh, this is, oh, I thought this was like cardboard or box, but no, this is, oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. 
is this like oh my god the gold <gasps> the gold sprayed edges what are you oh my god it's a notepad it's a notepad oh my god this is a notepad this is a notepad with like a little bookmark thing and it's just lined paper mm. <laughs> okay I mm, I wanted a notepad from Fairy Loot. I am now too scared to write in this. <laughs> like this is so gorgeous and beautiful. I'm actually scared to write in it. Look how so beautiful this is. I'm sorry, mm, I'm I'm excited, but I am scared to write in that. I don't want to ruin it. Like you know, I don't want to make that one mistake. I'll cross out that one word that I know I will have to do anyway, and then just ruin it accidentally oh we still have tarot i thought we would have been done with the tarot because they gave us the bag okay so let's have a look at the top so it's the eight of stars and the seven of stars and oh my god they look so cool look at it oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> all right pop those down okay there is like a Ooh, I think this is the yep. Yeah, this is the cheat card, but oh, look at the artwork on that! Look at how beautiful that is. Light versus dark in a battle. I love the vibe. It's very much like mythology and everything. I love this so much. Okay, so that is underneath. The rest is the book. Okay, so now I'm gonna fish around because obviously there's gonna be bits. It's always like a little bookmark and all of that. That is the bookmark. Come on. There we go. It's a shame they couldn't fit in the dark character because the like the fight between light and dark is one that has gone in such fantasy books forever. But the you know, we've got it in the artwork for the cheat thing. Ooh. Next month's theme is from the depths and it's mermaidy. Anyway, moving on <laughs> to this box. Stay focused. Da -da, da -da, da -da, is the letter from the author. Oh my god, look at that, it's so cute! I love it so much! <laughs> okay, let me feel around. Is there anything else? No, okay. As always, I will give you guys the first look. And I'm hoping this is the right way around. How's it look? I am so confused. Right, this artwork was confusing me. Right, oh my god. <sighs> Divine R Rivals. Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. No god, no war can come between them. <gasps> oh my god, wow. Two rivals, two stories, two hearts, one fate. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Look at those sprayed edges! They're books and letters! Oh my god! That is beautiful! That is so gorgeous! And it's got um like the sparkling embossing for the stars. Oh we all know I'm gonna scream at the artwork. <laughs> oh ah, I just saw the cover accidentally because it flipped. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it. Um oh my god, hello, hello, hello. You can tell it's going to be a romance straight off the bat. Oh, okay, let's read Zibleb. Zibleb, because I'm so excited. Right. <clears throat> when two rival journalists find love through a magical connection, their fate depends on their facing the depths of hell together. After centuries of sleep, the gods are warring again. All 18-year-old Iris Winnow wants to do is hold her family together. With a brother forced to fight on behalf of the gods, now missing from the front line, and a mother drowning her sorrows, Iris's best bet is winning the columnist promotion at the Oath Gazette. But when Iris' letters to her brother fall into the wrong hands, those of the handsome but cold Roman Kit, her rival at the paper, an unlikely magical connection, forms. Expelled in the middle of a mystical war, typewriters in tow, can their bond withstand the fight of the, the fate of mankind and, most importantly, love? 
an epic enemies to lovers fantasy novel filled with hope and heartbreak and the unparalleled power of love. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Divine Rivals. Divine Rivals. For Isabel Ibanez, who read this book as I wrote it, who convinced me to add Roman's POV and who occasionally let me get away with things. P.S. I'm talking about chapter 34. Oh, okay. I want to get to chapter 34. Right. Part one, letters through the wardrobe. Part two, news from afar. Okay. What? Let's just let, let me re read the title of number 34. Oh my God. Okay. So obviously she's put that there. And now I wanted to see what the title for chapter 34 was because it's all written here. And all it says was C, full stop. Mm. Write Me of Hope and Love and Hearts That Endured by Emily Dixon. And it goes straight into the prologue. Obviously, there's going to be artwork on the back. We know this already. So, I don't want to look at the cover anymore. Oh, it's okay. So, it's the same photo on the back, which is absolutely fine because this book is just fabulous as it is. Writer's Appreciation. Thank you, Rebecca Ross. for such a wonderful, lovely book. Yeek! Okay, and now for you guys to see the cover. I accidentally saw it because it flipped over as I was taking, as I was like removing the dust jacket to be able to show you, you guys the artwork. <gasps> Look how beautiful that is. Oh, you can't tell me that this isn't the most gorgeous book. Well, no, all the books from Fairy Loot are gorgeous. There are so many gorgeous books out there. There's not one that's the most gorgeous of them all as far as I'm aware, but this book is bloody gorgeous. It is so subtle, but it's just enough. It is just enough. This book is just beautiful. <laughs> okay, my lovelies. This is the end of this uh, fairy loot unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely have. Um, as always, comment, hate, like, dislike, subscribe, don't subscribe, hit the notification bell to annoy yourselves, um, or don't. And have a lovely rest of the day. Please stay safe, look after each other, reach out to your loved ones and make sure they're okay. I shall see you all very soon, my lovelies, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye, my lovelies. Mwah.